Hello everyone, this is David from DIY Games. This is part 5 of 10 of the Burn Pit Pallet Bench. Just going to do a quick update for the progress that has taken place. As you can see, I went ahead and actually used the same material that I used out here to go ahead and cover the seating. And the reason why I did that is just because, number one, create a solid surface. Number two, and the main reason, is a whole lot faster. But anyway, like I said in the previous videos, I wanted to keep this one as a solid um, seating area just because a lot of people like to actually lay down whenever they come in here. So what I did was on the back side here, the reason why this little box is here is because I put two by fours vertically and then horizontally. That way to secure this side to this side and then I just wrapped it with the regular pallet wood that way it's solid as well as still staying open now over here this is what I was talking about as far as the armrest they're not completed yet my drill bit actually broke on this one right here so I'm gonna have to get another drill bit but the way it is is that you can kind of see the general outline the way I'm actually constructing it once I have everything actually secured, then I'll go ahead and wrap it, just like I did over here. I was gonna go ahead and make some kind of a storage compartment on it, but I may do that later, but for the sake of at least getting it wrapped and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap it. And later on, if I want to, I may use a hole saw kit and cut a hole out, or I may use jigsaw and route out something now over here I'm gonna do the same thing over here this is what it looked like before this one's actually further along than this one I don't have any of the supports right here but anyway I did go ahead and finish up this corner right here everything is actually done back here same thing over here I finished this one all the way down I'll show you that here in just a second now up here across this top I'm going to make look just like this one this is actually marine wood and this one is actually a 14 foot long piece of marine wood that tied in that hole back like I said in the previous videos I did not want to have anything sticking off the back as far as any kind of cross braces so that's what I'm using for the primary support and the armrest will actually double as additional support that way if someone leans back on it don't have to worry about the whole thing falling back or anything. It is very, very solid back there now. Now I finished capping off this side. Finished capping off this side. Went ahead and got rid of all the weeds. They're actually in the process of dying right now. Now for the back side. I finished all this. This is all palletized now. This is, I capped off this side. Um, this board right here is actually just sitting there. It's not cut to length yet. And that's probably not gonna be the one I use. The one I use for this section is the one that's actually sitting on that bench. So in the next video, I'll have a lot more progress taking place. Now I also took out this cross brace uh, just because now this side right here this corner is a whole lot stiffer and what i'm going to end up doing is actually closing this in and use that as like a storage area these chairs won't be in here they'll actually be over there in my woods for a seating area out there and again i went ahead and used that same wood on this back side primarily just because it was a whole lot faster my wife she actually liked the look of this material and I like the look of it as well. Now what I am going to do is here, 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 and there. What I'm gonna do is that will actually be pallet wood. It will overlap just like on the front two. And there's a bunch of stuff to burn. It's been raining a lot lately, so I'm using basically boxes and stuff like that. There's my actual burn material. But anyway, I started paneling this side. I just had this last little bit right here, and then this side will be done. 
but overall it's coming together rather rather nicely now there's a few things that I will probably do uh, once I get to a certain point probably here on the outside maybe going around a couple inches out I'm going to use some kind of a shell or maybe whenever the kids and I go to uh, the beach or something we may pick up some shells or something kind of put that around there uh, for multiple reasons number one I think it'll look really good and go with the idea of these um, little decorative pieces that are here as well as the anchor setup I think shells around it will look rather nice as well as preventing some of the weeds that we all have to do is just spray over the top of the shells if anything tries to grow through but anyway as you can see this is progress as of now like I said before I went ahead and finished painting on this side same thing on the other one over there that's all done now and well I think that's pretty much about it um, oh yeah I also went ahead and started capping off this bottom one right here I'll do this as well as this with a 2x2 trim. This right here is actually some, I think it's roughly half by half, maybe half by one, something like that. All it is is this little trim that's being used over at uh, Lowe's. They just use it in between the boards. That way you can get your fingers underneath. I think it's half by one, something like that. But uh, it worked out nicely over here on this side. But this side actually has a bigger gap as well as this side. So that's why I'm going to use the 2x2. Two two. It'll look like this, but it'll cover that gap. I think it should come out rather nicely. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check me out on Facebook as well on DIY Games. Oop. There it goes. TJ. Alright, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again.